At Huntsville, Alabama, the Saturn V booster is undergoing captive firings. This test stand has so much history. 4670 was built in 1961 by Werner von Braun. And it was used for the uh, Apollo program, the uh, shuttle program, and then for testing various engines along the way. And then for about 25 years, it went dormant. We started this journey uh, November 17th of 2017. There are hundreds of people that contributed long, countless hours to make this happen. It was basically a whole gut job where we tried to keep what we could, but we completely changed the whole stand. There's the historic parts with the new parts combined. EP is in autonomous mode. This test here is us that? finally being able to test BE4 in a vertical position, which we haven't been able to do before. Test director is go for test. For the last four and a half years, this team of 150 people have been renovating this test stand for this day. T minus five seconds to test. Three, two, one. B4 is really significant to Blue Origin in two ways. It powers both Vulcan and it also powers GS1, which is our New Glenn first stage. It's gonna help us take the next step to using commercial rockets to take us to other planets. The hope is once we get this test off, we uh, keep it rolling. And the goal is to, is, is to make as many light engines as we can. I think it's gonna be very busy. This is a big deal. It's a big deal to Rocket City, too. We're at that phase now of testing this engine to go to space and go to the moon, the same way the people were back in the 60s, in the same facility. For the first time in 25 years, they're hearing rocket engines being tested. It's back. We're back.